Hey everybody, just a quick video on how to combine Relight, the new open effects feature in Resolve 18.5 Studio, that's the paid version of Resolve, how to combine that with the magic mask or any mask for that matter. So let's say we just have kind of a darker scene here. This is just our, our sample scene, our kitchen. We'll just make a color node for darkness and then let's make a node for Relight and we'll put our Relight effect on it. And if you're not familiar with how Relight works, check out this video because I'm not gonna explain all of it. We're just looking at how to mask things. I'm gonna kind of speed through this process here, adding a light under this hood here. So we kind of brighten things up a little bit. So here's before and here's after. The other thing I'm actually gonna do is make a separate normal map. I'm just gonna make a new node and output the surface map, right click on it and say node cache on. And if I have my playback render cache set to user, that's going to think about my whole shot. And when this turns blue, it's basically going to remember all of the fancy hard work that it had to do and not try and do it every single frame. Now I'll connect this to our second input for our relight node, select this surface map and say use input two. And once this turns blue, I should be able to scrub this no problem, okay? And now we have an issue where our light is lighting up our shot. Let's just make this a little darker so we can see it a little easier. It's lighting up our shot, which looks nice here, but it's also lighting up our talent, lighting up her shirt right here, which isn't ideal. It's not that big of a problem in this shot, but it is brightening her a lot. So we don't really want that to happen if she's in front of the light, she isn't gonna be lit by it in the front. So how do we mask her out so that she doesn't get relit? <laughs> get it? Okay. So what we really need to do is mask her out and overlay this dark video on top of the bright video, or at least cut her out from this relight effect. So what we can do is make a new node, like a new corrector, and we'll just grab the same input here. And I'll select highlight just so that we can see what's only happening in this node. And the sixth panel over here, this magic mask panel, I can just draw on our subject that we want to mask, okay? And that will isolate her. I'll switch this to better just because it makes the edges a little nicer. I can hold down Alt and select the parts that I don't want to be affected here. We just wanna make a nice mask, something like that. Once we have our nice mask, we can track this back and forth throughout the shot and it'll track that mask and it'll do a pretty darn good job. So this is basically just rotoing her real quick because we live in the future. So now we have our rough roto of her going in front of our light. So how do we use this? Well, we could do this a bunch of ways, but probably the easiest way is just to use this as a mat to hold out our relight. So we can take the alpha output, that's the blue output from our magic mask. I'll take this alpha output and put it into the first blue output of our relight, which is our alpha input. And we'll take this relight and here under key, what we wanna do is click on this little matte mask button. So what that's going to do is basically do everything that the node is doing, except for within the mask that we just put into it. It's just kind of reversing that matte. So now this brightness that we're adding is only gonna be added everywhere where our talent isn't. So it's basically just lighting the background. So let's turn off our highlight and look what's happening here. So as we do this, we can see that she isn't being brightened up anymore. So I turn this relight off and on and it's just lighting the background. Very, very cool. Now there's still some issues with this mat. It's not perfect. Anytime you use a, a fancy trick like relight, there's some trade-offs, you know, but generally that's how you do it. If you wanted to roto this yourself, you would do it a very similar way. You could select relight and grab something like pen tool and you can make a window here and just invert the window and you're gonna have a similar result, right? Where all of that lighting is just happening outside of that window and you can adjust the window as you see fit to make a better effect. Of course, it's a little more work, you might end up making it look a little nicer if you put in the work, but that's kind of how things are. So that's the idea. You can mask your relight either with a window right on the relight node, or you could do something like a magic mask on a separate node or a window on a separate node, and then just pipe in that mat and then go to your key input and invert that if needed. Pretty cool way of working. There's a lot of magical, amazing stuff that you can do in the color page with linking up nodes and doing fancy stuff. By the way, you may notice that this shot is moving a little bit and that our light is not moving with it. I didn't bother tracking it for this tutorial, but I do have a tutorial on tracking the Relight Open Effects, which is available right here. If you wanna learn more about color grading and all of the fancy things, we have a whole course on that. It's called Pro Color Grading and DaVinci Resolve. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. I hope this lets you relight things well without affecting your foreground. <laughs> that was a that was pretty direct, I'd say. It's a pretty direct outro. Yes, sir.